Breaking tonight, Michael Brady started his testimony today in Manteo, taking three hours on the stand. Brady spoke in detail about his plans to break out of Pasqua Tank Correctional Institution and the day of the deadly attack. 13 News Now reporter Allie Weatherton joins us live in Manteo after sitting through Brady's side of the story so far. Well, Janet, this is the first time we are hearing from Michael Brady, and he acted calm, cool, and collected, even laughed at times about his plan. He explained step by step how he, so he hit some of the victims over the head with a hammer and stabbed them several times. Brady's testimony was so emotional, more than half of the victim's family members in the courtroom had to leave. Brady said the moment he received a 40-year sentence for attempting to murder a North Carolina state trooper, he wanted to escape. He worked in the sewing plant and Brady said he started to realize how easy it was to borrow supplies like hammers. He said he started thinking of a plan all alone. Then one day talked to talked about it with Jonathan Monk. Then the plan expanded to two other inmates. Brady made backpacks and filled them with supplies. He made pants for all four men to wear the day of the attack. Brady even said, quote, I almost called off this whole thing because I didn't want to hurt Miss Darden. At one point, the defense stopped at asking questions to Brady, and it was basically a tell-all. Brady seemed to be bragging about the fact that he was telling the three other inmates what to do during the attack. Now, Brady says there were only two plans that day to escape or to die, and neither of those happened. Jurors are asked to come back tomorrow at 930 to hear the rest of Brady's testimony. Live in Manio, Allie Weatherton, 13 News Now.